Good morning. Today is the big day. Today is the day I um, leave for Dallas for the Reward Style Conference. And I think I'm, I decided I'm going to vlog this weekend. Um, to be honest, you guys, I've attempted to do a weekly vlog probably a dozen times on my channel over the last six months, but I haven't ever uploaded it because either A, I start out on Monday and by Wednesday I've either forgotten or I'm like, you know, this isn't very exciting. My life is not very exciting. Um, and so whatever reason, I just haven't followed through with the weekly vlog, but I thought this would be a fun, um, definitely a fun weekend to vlog. And at the least, I would love to just have, um, you know, a vlog for my own personal satisfaction of this weekend because I'm so excited about this weekend. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So it is 6.20. I am up a little early before my daughter, getting my daughter up, I'm making my bulletproof coffee. I drink this stuff every single morning. Um, it's just what I need to get started. So I'm making that. I was up late last night packing. I it took me like three hours to pack for this event. And I am not a big um, like overpacker typically. Like when we go on trips, I always try and pack very light and I'm very strategic about what I bring. Um, I try not to bring more than I need, but this is, this event, this weekend is different just because, um, you know, I wanna of course look very nice and feel confident at every event that we're going to and there's lots of different events that we're going to and everyone at this event is gonna be, you know, super fashionable and stylish and I just wanna feel good, you know what I mean? I don't wanna ever feel this weekend like, I don't fit in, why am I here, you know? <laughs> and so I just wanna have more than I need. Um, so I definitely packed way more than I need, but I think I'll feel, I'll, I think I'll be glad that I did when I get there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna make my bulletproof coffee, get Brooklyn up, um, get her ready for school and on the school bus, and then get ready. I kind of, I'm kind of unsure what to do about my hair. Do you know, like for me, my hair looks best like second to day, like I wash it and the next day it looks the best. It doesn't really look best the first day that I wash it. It looks kind of, I don't know, just a little frizzy and not real smooth. So I washed my hair Monday night, today's Wednesday morning. Um, and it kind of feels like I need to wash it again, but I don't want to wash it today because I want it to look, I don't know. Um, I don't know, but I want to get on my bike this morning too and work out. So I'm thinking, oh, do I have to, should I skip my workout just so that my hair doesn't look dirty, but I don't want to skip my workout. I want to work out. Oh, I might end up washing it again this morning and just putting lots of product in it to try and get it to cooperate. Um, but yeah, do you guys, does that happen to you guys? Also too, we've been spending a lot of time outside. Like yesterday we were outside a lot and it just has an outside smell. Like it's not necessarily dirty. It just has an outside smell, which is kind of driving me nuts. Um, anyway, I should have washed it last night when I was done packing, but by the time I was done packing, it was like midnight and I thought I'm not going to wash my hair and dry it right now, but I probably should have. Okay, you guys, I'm going to make this coffee and then, um, Marnie is picking me up this morning. I'm riding to Dallas with Marnie from, um, Miss Gold Girl on YouTube. So, um, I'm excited to kind of spend some more time with her, you know, um, I think we'll have a fun drive up just getting to know each other a little better. Uh, but yeah. Okay, you guys, I'll check in with you later. Oh, no, I'm going to get some questions on what I put in my Bulletproof coffee. So this is what it looks like before I blend it up. Um, but I basically, I make regular coffee in a Keurig in one of the um, Magic Bullet cups. And then I do two scoops of collagen protein. I do one teaspoon, not tablespoon, teaspoon of the MCT oil. And I use this one from Whole Foods. It's the vanilla flavor. And then I use a little bit of um, cinnamon. I just sprinkle some cinnamon in there. You can see that. And then I have this little, I have about a tablespoon of butter in there. Of not just regular butter, grass-fed butter. It's Kerrygold butter. It's um, I get it. You can get it from HEB or Whole Foods um, or like a health store. But yeah. So a tablespoon is about like like a kind of sliver that thick. So kind of thick. So I put that in there, and then I blend it up in my Magic Bullet. And this is what it looks like when it's done super creamy. It's really good. I think it's really good. It doesn't taste bad. I know butter in your coffee sounds a little weird, but it actually tastes really good. And it's filling because the, you have the protein uh, and the MCT oil and the butter. So yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to go get Bricky up. I'll check in with you in a bit. So if you're a mom, you know that this is part of packing and getting ready to leave for a trip is leaving your husband little checklists uh, taped around the house. <laughs> this is taped on the door to the garage so he or he cannot leave the house and forget any of these things because it's just right here for him that's what we do right we make 
We moms take care of business, don't we? We make sure things get done. Okay, I'm all ready. I'm just getting my stuff together and I'm gonna take a Uber over to meet Marnie so she can pick me up because my house is a little bit out of the way um, since we're heading to Dallas. So I'm excited. The nerves are starting to kick in though. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't really, I wasn't really nervous and then ner Marnie said she was nervous and then I was like, what do you mean you're nervous? You're a pro at this. You've been like five years. Uh, don't be nervous because it's making me nervous. But anyway, I'm excited. I'm not nervous. I'm just going to go and be myself at this thing, you know, because that's that's what got me here, right? Is just being myself and you know what? If it's not good enough, then so be it. So anyway, I will check in with you guys on the road. Yay! All right, guys. So Marnie and I just made it into Dallas. This hotel is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys. So we're just in the lobby. We just checked in for registration and we're gonna go find our room, freshen up. Okay, I'm in the room, you guys, I'm so excited. Uh, I can't believe that I'm here. I know I've kind of been like building up to this for the last month or so, but I'm just so excited and um, had an awesome drive up with Marnie. Uh, so much, like we were literally laughing the whole time. My cheeks were hurting because we were laughing so hard. Um, but it's really cool to ride up here with her because Marnie's, this is Marnie's fifth year to come to this conference and this is my first year. so. You know, I was just kind of picking her brain about what to expect, and um, I'm just so excited and so grateful um, to be here today, you know. So anyway, but I want to show you guys this room because it's so nice. Um, so we're staying at the Hotel Crescent in Dallas, and it's super modern, and I think if they just renovated it, it's really cute. I kind of wish Paul were here with me. Um, I didn't get a roommate because I didn't really have anyone to ask. <laughs> But it's okay because I actually like having a hotel room to myself. So I'm excited to kind of have this room for the next couple of days. I'm going to give you a little tour and show you what it looks like. Let me try and open these curtains though because the lighting is, hotel lighting is always a little, hotel room lighting is always a little funky. Let's see if I can find, okay, let me see. Did that not work? Okay, so let me show you guys this bathroom. Okay, well actually we'll start here. Let's just give you a little hotel room tour. So this is the little closet where it has coffee, super cute, but look at these drawers. So nice, but the bathroom, I think the bathroom is my favorite part. Look at this, love, love the white and the gold. Really nice. You guys, I'm excited. So excited. And then this is the room. I'm actually glad I don't have a roommate because I can vlog a little more comfortably. I am so uncomfortable vlogging. I don't know why. I just still feel a little silly doing it. So at least I can do it in, in private. And then this little desk. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna freshen up and then we are heading to a little networking event downstairs for a couple hours and then we'll come back up here. There's a little pool party hosted by Supergoop tonight. Uh, so I'll probably come up here, shower, change. Oh, well, let me show you the outfit I'm wearing. Um, I posted this on Instagram, so you've probably already seen this, but I'm wearing these earrings. These are from Bobble Bar. I got these from Nordstrom and they come in black and I think red, but I got the gold. They're just little beads. They're actually pretty lightweight, so they look really heavy, but they're really not. And then this top is from The Loft, very lightweight. The one thing I didn't consider though is when you sweat, you can kind of see it. Um, so I just get, when I sweat, when I get nervous, I sweat a little bit, but um, yeah, that was one thing that I didn't realize until I wore this today. And then the pants that I'm wearing are also by the loft and they are these with the front, the buttons in the front. Uh, and so these both sides unbutton. So when you have to take them off, you just unbutton both sides, but they're dark denim, uh, very fit, skinny, they do stretch out. I'm wearing a size 26 and when I put them on this morning, they're pretty tight and now they're definitely gotten loose around the knee area. Not bad though. I definitely wouldn't size down. Even though they've stretched, they still feel good. But 
I would definitely recommend getting a size that feels just a little snug because if you get something that feels a little loose or comfortable, it's going to stretch quite a bit because I've just had these on for like five hours and they've stretched quite a bit. So anyway, all right, you guys, I'm going to get freshened up because Marnie's going to call me in a second. We're going to head downstairs and then I will see you guys in a bit. Ah, I can't believe I'm here. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm a dork. I'm going to stop doing that. I promise I will not do that for the next three days. I'm just going to have a little geek out moment right now and then I will compose myself and act like a cool girl. Okay, deal, deal. <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> hi, thank you. Oh, we got one of these. Thank you. I need another hand. I should leave my purse open. Hi! I have three gifts. Okay. But feel free to take them now or right now. Okay, so it is about 5.30 and there is a poolside party hosted by Super Goop that I am just getting ready for. I didn't redo my makeup, surprisingly. I thought I'd have more time to get ready between events, but there's really not a lot of extra time. So I kind of just touched up the makeup that I had on this morning and I'm actually pretty impressed with the way that it still looks. The foundation that I go to when I know that I'm going to have a really long day and I need my makeup to look really good all day long is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. So I find myself always grabbing that when I need my foundation to just look good all day or like if I photo shoot. So that's what I have on today and surprisingly it held up really well. On my eyes I have the Pat McGrath uh, Bronze Ambition Palette and then just some other shadows, random shadows, but I think it looks really pretty. Let me show you the outfit I'm wearing for tonight. I'm kind of excited. It's a little bit not, well, it's so dark in here now, sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit kind of outside of my normal style. Like I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think it's cute, but it's a little bit more, I don't know. You tell me. It's just, I don't know that it's me, but it's what I'm wearing. So we're going to roll with it. Let me show you what I got on. Okay. So I am wearing, okay, so first we'll start with these earrings. I actually don't know where these earrings are from. Um, Nazarene let me borrow them. She was like my stylist. Poor thing. I would text her outfits for like weeks and ask her her advice. And so she kind of pretty much styled me, but she told me that um, I needed some white earrings. So she let me borrow these. And then this dress I got from Nordstrom and it's by Free People. And it's just a real flowy, light uh, dress. It has this really cute eyelet detail on the front and then the back just has this real sweet little kind of shoulder strap and then it goes pretty low in the back. Very light, very flowy. It does have lining inside of it so it's not see-through. Um, but yeah, it's real comfortable. So, and then for the shoes, I am wearing Mark Fisher wedges. These are the ones I got from Nordstrom yesterday. I kind of decided the last minute that I wanted wedges to wear with this dress so I went to Nordstrom and I like them. They were a little bit more than I normally spend on shoes, um, but I do like them. And it's good that Mark Fisher is actually a brand here. So it's nice that I am, you know, am representing. <laughs> so anyway, we are gonna get on stairs for a party, a pool party. And then after that, um, I kind of just tagged along. Marnie had some uh, dinner plans with some friends and um, they graciously invited me to tag along. So I'm excited. It's been a long day, but so far so good. Having lots of fun. Oh, I think that might've been Marnie. Let me go see.
I just got back from dinner and had such a great time. Uh, <sighs> such a great time. It's some really fun, sweet, awesome ladies. Uh, yeah, so very good first day. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm just kind of just got to with Paul. Check in on the girls. They're having a good time with daddy. But I am going to, I'm actually going to use some of this Colleen Rothschild. Oh, I don't know if this made it into my vlog. I talked about it in stories on Instagram, but I got to meet Colleen Rothschild today, which was a, kind of the highlight, I think, of the brand networking. Um, I haven't tried any of her products before, but a lot of close friends of mine on YouTube and bloggers rave about her products. And so I was excited to meet her and she hooked me up. I mean, she gave me, I'll show you which, I'm going to show you what she gave me. She's so sweet. Like she was so kind. And I met her husband and he was really friendly and uh yeah, they just seem like good people. You know, they just seem like really good people to um I really enjoyed meeting her. She was really really kind and very generous. Uh when I told her I hadn't tried any of their products, she was like, "Oh my gosh, let me get you some th some things." And was asking me what I was currently using and so kind of uh got me products that she thought I would like based on that. So she got me so she gave me the face oil number 9. Someone told me about this. Someone told me that they love this, so I'm so excited to try that. The Radiant Cleansing Balm. So I guess I'll try that tonight. I've got so much makeup on, and I've had it on all day long, so I'm excited to clean it off. And then the Complete Eye Cream. Yay. And then one more product. I got the um, Detoxifying, Clarifying Detox Mask. So thank you so much, Colleen Rothschild. I'm excited to try these things. Try them tonight. I'm gonna wash my face. <sighs> Catch up on a little bit of emails tonight. I'm looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow. Our morning doesn't start till like 9:30, is when the first meetings start for the day. So I brought my workout clothes. I always break my workout clothes when I travel, and sometimes I work out and sometimes I don't, but I like to have them in case I'm in the mood. I don't know if I'm going to work out tomorrow though because I need to wash my hair. It's kind of stinky. <laughs> and so I don't know if I'll have time to work out and wash my hair, but uh, we, we shall see. But yeah, today was a really awesome day. I was really excited to be here and, um, you know, just meet all these amazing women. Uh, there's not a whole lot of YouTubers here. I think there's more th this year than they ever have been in the past, but for the most part, a lot of the women here are bloggers. Uh, or, you know, have a big following on Instagram, so uh, not a whole lot of YouTubers, but anyway, I have, I don't know, I just really enjoyed today and kind of a, taking it all in and um, just absorbing this whole experience, so, um, but I am super tired. I am going to go wash this face and get into bed, and yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So we are on day two. Um, it's Friday morning and I'm getting ready to head downstairs for the, um, actually it's, it's day two, but I think it's kind of like day one because this is when they do the official like kickoff um, opening session and with the founder of Reward Style and um, some other sessions. So we got to like kind of pick what we wanted to learn. They have all these different sessions you can kind of attend based on kind of where you are at. Um, and so I'm going to go to those specific ones that I picked and then we have like, I have a couple of brand meetings, so I get to sit down kind of one-on-one -on -one with some brands. I'm meeting with QVC, which I'm so excited about. I know my mom's gonna be excited about that because she loves QVC. And then um, Mary Kay, which is kind of exciting actually because uh, I kind of grew up on Mary Kay. I think if I really think back to like where my first introduction of makeup was, it was Mary Kay. Um, I remember my mom had a friend who sold Mary Kay and I like, begged her to let me have a Mary Kay party. So this poor lady came over to like teach us how to do makeup and it was just like me and some 11 year olds, you know, like not her ideal customer, but anyway, so I think it's kind of funny that here I am today um, meeting with him. But anyway, I wanna show you what I'm wearing today and I just heard my phone go off, so let me see who that was. Marnie, what does Marnie say? I'm ready now, okay. I'm just gonna tell her four minutes. Okay, all right, let me show you what I'm wearing really quickly. I slept so well. I was hoping to go work out this morning, but that just didn't happen. I didn't get up in time. All right, let me show you what I have on. The sliding in here is so bad, but so today I'm wearing this white dress. This is one of the first outfits I picked up. And you guys, this is so comfortable. Like it is really stretchy. It's not, I mean, it's fitted, but there's some give to it. So it's super, super comfortable. It has this large like panel. It zips up all the way to the back. So it's very, very um, classic. It doesn't, you know, show any of the back 
And then it goes just below the knee on me. I'm five foot two, so if you're taller, it'll hit you a little higher. And if you're shorter, a little lower. And then the shoes I'm wearing, I'm wearing these yellow shoes by BP. Uh, so I think they're cute. They don't have a super high heel, but they're not like a kitten heel. They're kind of in between. They're not super, super comfortable. Like I'm kind of worried that the strap is going to bother me throughout the day around my toes. Uh, but I have a little bit of a wider foot. So if you have a more narrow foot, it probably wouldn't bother you, but I'll let you know at the end of the day. And then these earrings, um, I bought, I think they're super fun. You know, since it's a pretty simple white dress, I wanted some fun accessories with the shoes and the earrings, but yeah, well, I'm going to head... Okay, so I'm gonna head downstairs to grab some breakfast and then go into the conference. I'm gonna bring my camera with me today so uh, you guys can see some of our day. All right, bye guys. Hey! So we are about to kick off the first day and I'm in a room with all the pretty people. There's Marnie and Miss, Miss Louie on YouTube who does a lot of fashion videos. So I've been up in the room for about two hours, eh, an hour and a half. We had lunch in um, this beautiful courtyard of the hotel hosted by Banana Republic. It was so beautiful. I'm kind of mad at myself because I didn't vlog th during that time, but Marnie vlogged a little bit of it. So you, I'm sure she's going to upload this in her weekly vlog so you can check it out. Um, but it was so beautiful. Banana Republic hosted this beautiful lunch. The tabletops were gorgeous, gorgeous flowers, really great food. I sat at a table with uh, mostly fashion bloggers, super Super cute, cute girls, like just, you know, dressed so perfectly, perfect beachy ways, perfect makeup, really sweet, sweet girls. So yeah, anyway, and then I had a little bit of a break, so I came up to the room to finish editing a video. Um, I'm Jessica and I filmed together a little over a week ago, and I'm finalizing that video, and that video will be up this Sunday, which will be up before this actual vlog goes up. So by the time you guys are watching this, that video will already be up and it's really fun. It's a really long one. It's like 38 minutes. I didn't plan on for it to be that long, but sometimes when you have a friend on your channel, you just get a little chatty and you know, the, whenever I have guests on my channel, they're not like thinking about how to edit in their mind and like keeping things concise and short. So things always run a little bit overboard, but I think you guys will enjoy it because I know you guys love her and she's so much fun and we had a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, it is 2.25 and I have a meeting in 20 minutes with QVC, which I'm kind of excited about because I know my mom's excited about it. My mom loves QVC. Um, I think half of what she buys online comes from QVC. So I'm gonna go meet with them and then uh, we have a couple of other sessions. And yeah, that's kind of what's on the dock for the day. Tonight there's a cocktail party hosted by Express, which I'm excited about. I have this little black dress that I bought um, the same day that I bought this white dress actually. It was in that Nordstrom dress try on video that I did month ago or so. Um, I hope I can fit into it because I haven't tried it on in a month. Not that I've, you know, why wouldn't I fit into it, I guess. But anyway, I'm having a ton of fun and I'm really enjoying, um, I'm really enjoying kind of some peaceful time to myself. Uh, I was kind of bummed because I didn't really have anyone to room with and I really think it would have been fun to room with someone and, you know, just have that bonding experience. But, uh, you know, really the only person I know that's here is Marnie and Marnie, you know, she has a friend that she rooms with every year. So, but I'm actually kind of glad now in hindsight that I have my own room because it allows me to come up here and just kind of have a little bit of peaceful, quiet time, relax, work a little bit. Um, and yeah, so, you know, it is what it is. But I am making some really great friends here. Uh, some really sweet, sweet women. Uh, yeah, that are all just so inspiring. And um, we had a talk this, now I'm going off topic, but this morning, Kendra Scott was like the keynote speaker this morning. And she kind of shared her story on her business, which is like a billion dollar business. Crazy. But she talked about how she started it, uh, I guess it was 16 years ago, she started it with $500 and she just handmade all these little jewelry pieces and she had this little wooden box that she would drive around to different stores in Austin, Texas, which is my hometown. And she would just walk into stores and try and get her jewelry in their retail stores. And uh, anyway, her whole message was just very inspiring because she was talking about how many no's she got in the beginning. You know, she just heard no all the time and how she just kept 
pushing and um, obviously has created this empire, which is really, really incredible and incredible. I mean, there's really no other word for it. Uh, but her whole message was about, you know, giving back and being authentic and true to yourself and not really following the pack, you know, not really. And I think in, you know, in terms of what I do on YouTube or what bloggers do, that's a really important message because I feel like it's so easy to get into this comparison game, you know. Um, I mean, I do it. I think we all do it. But, you know, to just remember who we are, who you are, and be true to that and just know that we all have something unique and special to give and you know the audience that we've we've connected with and the communities that we've built we've built because we are us you know and to just always remember that and not try and and just not ever try and change that to to try and fit in or to try and be some you know just just staying true to yourself so uh it was really moving and very touching and I mean I literally like got a lump in my throat <laughs> got tears in my eyes I'm so emotional it's kind of embarrassing but it was very very powerful and very moving and I loved every minute of that of this morning so anyway I'm gonna go to my meeting so I'm not late all right oh my gosh so I just had a minor little panic attack uh, I met with QVC like for a brief meeting and they gave me the most fantastic goodie bag. I'm going to show you what came inside this in a minute. It's like really, really generous and I was so excited and I left that meeting and then I went to another meeting with Mary Kay and I set it down on the floor and I left it there and I didn't realize it and I left it on the floor of the meeting with like hundreds of people and it was an hour, an hour and a half past before I realized that I didn't have my bag, my goodie bag with me anymore and so I panicked and I it didn't occur to me yet where I had left it, so I went back to the restroom and I went to all the different places that I was had, had been looking for it and I couldn't find it and I was just so panicked. And then um, I went into another meeting and I was in the middle of that meeting and I it occurred to me, oh my gosh, I set that down when I was talking to the people at Mary Kay and I um, left it there. Ah! So I got out of the meeting, I raced back down there, and I saw the sweet lady from Mary Kay that was such a doll, and she was like, did you leave your goodie bag? And I was like, yes, and she found it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, but I have to show you what comes in this, and you will understand my reason for panic. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is the bag that they gave me, just a real big tote, and it is filled with good stuff. Okay, so like this is all It Cosmetics, It Cosmetics products. Let's see. Look at this, look at this. I would have lost all of this amazing stuff right here. What is this? I mean, just, can you believe that? Can you, do you see my, do you see why I was panicked? Do you see why I would have been panicked? I mean, all of this good stuff. And then inside there's, I mean, there's just so much stuff in here. I don't even know what's in here. It's hard for me to like read while I'm holding the camera, but just tons of good stuff. I literally would have lost all of this stuff. Can you believe that? Yeah, so anyway, I'm so thankful that I found it because I was feeling very, very, very panicked. So I have about an hour to kill, and then we have a cocktail party, uh, so I'll change. I don't think I'm going to redo my makeup. I'm going to check it out and see if I can just touch it up. I might rinse off a little bit, um, and then we're going to go out to dinner. We're going to go to Chewy's. I don't know if Chewy's is just a Texas thing. It started in Austin, and it's in Dallas, obviously, but it's just like really great Tex-Mex. They have margaritas and queso, and um, I'll probably regret eating that tomorrow morning because whenever I eat like that, or especially margaritas, I wake up so puffy and swollen in the face, but I'm going to enjoy it tonight. So, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to try and get back earlier than we did last night because I have work to do tonight, and um, I didn't have the motivation last night when I got into the room. We got I got back at like 11-ish. I was just so tired, so. so I'm gonna try and get back much earlier tonight and get some work done. So anyway, I'm having such a great time though, meeting some really fantastic people. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm getting ready to leave for the um, cocktail party tonight, and this is what I'm wearing. I don't have it zipped up yet because it still has the tag, and I need them to bring me scissors because the tag is like a thick thread, so I haven't zipped it up, so it'll be a little more form-fitting, but um, this dress, this was featured in my Nordstrom dress try-on video. This was one that I talked about and that I really loved and got. It is a little uh, more fit than the white one that I was wearing earlier today. The white one had a little bit of a stretch and a give where this one is definitely, um, doesn't quite have that stretch, uh, but you can see this eyelet detail here, and then it does have lining down here, so. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these Sam Edelman shoes. I love these so much. These, let me see if I can get some better light. These scalloped heels. They're not the really tall ones, but they're not short. They're in between. I think they're three inch, but they're pretty comfy. 
And then for earrings, I'm trying to decide. I just posted a poll on Instagram stories to see what you guys think. I, I kind of like these. Oh, let me skip back here. Let me actually turn this around. It'll be better. Let me go over here in the light. This hotel room lighting is so terrible. There we go. It's better. Okay, so I'm trying to decide between these two earrings. This is a pair. These, these are fun. Or these. I bought these from my friend's boutique in Austin. I don't think I can find these exact ones online, but I'll try and find some similar to link down below. But I, mean, I can't decide. I'm having such a hard time deciding which ones to do. I kind of think maybe these. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, but yeah, we are about to go to a cocktail party for about an hour, and then Marnie and Desiree and I are going to go to Chewy's for some Tex-Mex. And then I'm going to come back and work tonight because I just got to catch up on some things. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So, we are just getting to a cocktail party. It's so cute. Such camp pour. I want you guys to meet my friend, my new friend, Desiree. Hi. Desiree has a blog, Beautifully Seaside. I'll have it linked down below, but she's super sweet. She's been so kind to me. Um, so, yeah. Let's go get a margarita. Yes, let's get one. at a little cocktail party. Oh, yeah. Marnie had the most cocktails. She I had did. one. I had one very powerful cocktail. Yes. No, we no, all had fun. a few cocktails and we're having a good time. Yeah, and I'm now like... we're going to, we're waiting on an Uber actually so I that we can think. go yeah. um, to That's eat at Texas. Well, not really. Some queso, some burritos, well, actually, some yumminess. So. Marnie! This is nice. Yeah, this is the A5100. We're talking about my camera. <laughs> Marnie has the same camera, but no, I do not. Well, it's I have a Sony, and that's oh, about it. This is a Sony too. Here. That's like saying we both have hair. Ladies. <laughs> Sweet. Our car is here. We already missed our first Uber because we were chatting with a real housewife. I was so excited. I met Kristen from Real Housewives of New York, and we were chatting, and, and our first Uber was like, I'm over waiting for you guys. I'm leaving. And so now this is our second one. So now we're going to dinner. Okay. All right, we are at Chewy's Tex-Mex for Marnie's request. <laughs> this is Christina from the Sweat Edit and Desiree from the Seaside, and we have some yummy tex Look at this. Look at this. I'm like going big or go home. I've got a chalupa, an enchilada, and a taco. Marnie's chowing down. <laughs> watching um, a special on Barbara Bush on the Today Show. <laughs> she, was a, she was a funny lady. She was, seems like a special lady. Aww. Oh, um, okay, but I need to get up and pack this room up because I need to pack this room up. I kind of unpacked everything and laid everything out when we got here, laid all my earrings and shoes and everything. And now I kind of wish I hadn't done that because I have to back it all up. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, I'm going to get started so I don't get late. So I'm not late this morning. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm about to head downstairs to have breakfast. And then we have a few sessions, um, kind of like learning sessions. And then I'm excited because I have a quick meeting this afternoon with Supergoop. And I've heard a lot of buzz around Supergoop, but I haven't tried any of the products until this morning. I got a little sample of the um, Unseen Sunscreen. It's like a sunscreen with S sunscreen with SPF, duh. Um, but it's like a primer also. Um, my friend Jessica was using it when we did our video uh, like two weeks ago and she was raving about it. Uh, so I was excited to get a little sample. I have it on now, it worked pretty much like a primer. My makeup looks pretty good, but we'll see. You know, I've only had it on for 30 minutes, so I'm not quite sure how it wears throughout the day yet. But um, so yeah, I'm excited to kind of see how that works and meet with them. And 
and just kind of learn a little bit more about their products. But anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and see what they have for breakfast and then make it to my meeting. It's supposed to rain today in Dallas pretty hard, and Marnie and I are supposed to drive back this afternoon, so I really hope we don't get caught in any crazy weather because that's no fun. Um, but let me show you what I'm wearing today. These earrings are from Target, you guys. They're, uh, sh is it Sugar Fix or Sugar Something? I think it's related to Bobble Bar somehow. Um, but let me show you the whole outfit. I'm a little more casual today, which is funny because this is dressed up for me. This is my normally dressed up but it's kind of my casual for at this conference okay so this is what I'm wearing we had Mexican last night and I knew that I would be a little little puffy this morning so I wanted something that was gonna you know not be super form-fitting but this top is from the loft I just got this about two weeks ago and when I tried to find it online the day that I bought it I couldn't find it so I don't know if it was like brand new and it hadn't got on the site yet or what but I will look for it and if I can't find this exact top to link, I'll link something similar. And these jeans are from The Loft. These are a size 26, which is equivalent to a size 2. I find that The Loft runs pretty um, on the larger side, so I always go down. Um, and I have a feeling these are going to stretch a little bit because the other Loft jeans that I bought that I wore on Thursday um, you know, did stretch a bit. So, uh, But they're the perfect length for me. I think these are petites, though. That's why. And then these shoes are from Target. Not the most comfortable, but... We're going to be sitting throughout the day so I can get, get through them. But yeah, this is my outfit for the day. Okay, I heard my phone go off a few times. So let me see if that's Marnie and it's time to go. So we just got to our morning session. So hey, Marnie. But these are what the sessions look like. There's, you know, just a small group of bloggers. Um, and we kind of just learn uh, some type of talk, topic related to blogging or our channel. Um, today we're learning about the Like to Know It app. I've talked about it a little bit on Instagram, but... Um, it's basically an app that allows you to shop uh, people's Instagram photos really easily. So, um, I'm sure you check out this view. We're in the Look at the view that we have. This is the room that we're in. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we finished up our morning sessions and we are on the Like to Know It bus. It is raining and we're the gross outside. And we are headed to lunch. It's hosted by a society. Sure. Yeah, so we're going to go get some food and then come back for a couple of um, uh, Marnie's. We got to watch Marnie's vlog too. <laughs> So this is where we're having at lunch today. So beautiful. Holt Soul Society is hosting our lunch. And each table or each chair has a little swag bag. So Marnie over there is talking to the founder of Like to Know It Reward Styles. So it is about 3 o'clock and I feel like it's like 6 o'clock, it's been a long day and I'm so tired. Uh, there's a party tonight but Marnie and I actually decided that we were going to head back to Austin or me Austin or San Antonio today and not stay for the party so I'm kind of actually relieved because I'm exhausted. My feet were killing me. I'm wearing those Target shoes that are like a Sam Edelman knockoff. And I'm kind of feeling like I wish I had the real Sam Edelman's because my feet probably wouldn't hurt so bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just hanging out. I have about 30 minutes and 15 minutes until my next brand meeting. Uh, but I did just go upstairs and meet with um, the people from Hunter Scott and they gave us a nice little goodie. And then uh, Soul Society gave me this freaking awesome duffel bag. Look at this giant duffel bag they gave me. So cute. Um, but yeah, we're having a good time. Marnie's checking out. <laughs> I'm just talking about how exhausted we are. Oh my god, I feel like death. <laughs> you need to keep me up. Okay. For the drive? Well, we're going to have some coffee before we leave. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do, I'll keep you alert. Yeah. Alright, you guys. Well, I'm going to rest for 15 minutes and then um, I will probably check in with you on the drive home. Okay? Bye! Well, that's a wrap. I just got upstairs from my last meeting. And I'm just waiting for Marnie to get up here from hers. And then we're going to pack up the car and hit the road. It is a gloomy day in Dallas. I'll show you guys. Well, it's not really raining right now, but it's a gloomy day outside. It's supposed to rain pretty hard later. 
Uh, I thought that it would have already started, but hopefully we can beat the rain because I don't really like driving down I-35 when it's pouring. It's kind of scary. But uh, anyway, this was an incredible couple of days. I am so... I don't even know like how to describe the experience. It was very um, m inspiring, motivating, encouraging, um, just incredible. I just feel incredibly grateful and thankful that I got to have this uh, experience. And, um, you know, I really have you guys to thank for it. Uh, truly, like truly, if I did not have your support and you guys watching my videos and, um, you know, I just, I would not be here. Plain and simple, I would not be here. So I, I thank you guys so much and I love you guys so much. Um, but yeah, I just have a, I don't know, I have a lot of motivation right now and I'm excited to go back home and kind of think about how I can just cre keep creating content for you guys that you guys like. And um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.